do uh, we'll do two short two short dramatic pieces here. Uh, the first one. Yes. The first one is a, a poem by a, a gentleman named uh, Thomas McGreevy from uh, Tarbert County Kerry, and uh, this is called uh, Red Hugh O'Donnell. Um, Red Hugh O'Donnell, as many of you know, was uh, one of the uh, <coughs> great Irish earls who, after the Battle of Kinsale, uh, they had to go to continental Europe and enlist in the retinues of uh, the French, the Germans, the, the Spaniards, various armies. <coughs> so this poem is about Thomas McGreevy trying to find uh, the grave of Red Hugh. Oh, good, good. Trying to find Red Hugh's grave in the Cathedral of Valladolid. And by the way, Hugh, when he got to Spain, uh, was poisoned in a little town called Simancas, outside of Valladolid, by an agent of the English crown. So, Red Hugh O'Donnell, a little history here. Juan de Juni, the priest said, each J becoming age. Pero Fuente, he said. And the G was aspirate. Jimenez, he said then and aspirated first and last. But he never said, and it seemed odd, he never had heard the spirated name of the centuries dead bright haired young man whose grave I sought. All day I passed in greatly built gloom, marvelously wrought, going from dusty guilt to tomb to tomb, rubbing and mowed the inscriptions with fingers wetted with spit and asking where I might find it and failing. Yet when, unhurried, not as at home, when heroes hanged or buried with non-commissioned officers, bored maledictions quickly in the jail yard, they brought his blackening body here to rest. Princes came, walking behind it. And all Valladolid knew, and out to Simancas all knew, where they buried Red Shoe. And to balance that, we do a poem by uh, uh, the great Anglo Irish. Uh, Poet, uh, there are three Nobel Prize winners for literature in the 20th century from Ireland, which is quite remarkable. Uh, we have our latest uh, famous Seamus, Seamus Heaney, and uh, very early in the century we had George Bernard Shaw, and then we had this gentleman uh, born in uh, St. Mount Castle, St. Mount Green, Dublin, raised in Sligo, William Butler Yeats. This is, uh, this is about uh, creating art and creating art as you age. It's called Sailing to Byzantium. That is no country for old men, young in one another's arms, boards in the trees, those dying generations at their side. The salmon fowls, the backward crowded seas, fish, flesh, or fowl, commend all summer long whatever is begotten, born, and dries. Caught in that sensual music, our neglect monuments of an aged intellect. An aged man is but a paltry thing, a tattered coat on a stick, unless soul clap its hands and sing, and louder sing for every tatter in its mortal dress. Nor is there singing school, but studying monuments of tone magnificence. And therefore I have sailed the seas and come to the holy city of Byzantium. O oh, sages standing in God's holy fire, as in the garden of Saic of a while. Come from the holy fire, pour in a joyer, and be the singing masters of my soul. Consume my heart away. Sink with desire and pass into a dying animal in those not what it is. And gather me into the artifice of eternity. Once out of nature, I shall never take my bodily form from any natural thing. But such a form as Grecian goldsmiths made of hammered gold and gold enamel to keep a drowsy emperor awake, or set upon a golden bough to sing to lords and ladies of his angel of what is past or passing, or to come with it. We've got the haste.